In this video, YouTube scammers and my new frogging setups. Let's do it. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. It's been like 12 days since I've uploaded, which is practically unheard of here on this channel. It feels good to be back with you guys. We had some drama crack off after I uploaded the previous video and we had a scammer show up and try to trick some of you guys into sending them some money. I sincerely apologize for that. When I first saw it, it was quite obvious, a blatant scam to me, but several of you guys did get fooled into thinking that that was me contacting you guys, saying that you won the giveaway and asking you to send me money to ship you the baits. I assure you guys I would never do something like that. That was not me. That was not even my name on that account, but I do sincerely apologize to those of you who thought it was me. The problem has been solved. The way we fix this moving forward is simple because I always announce the giveaway winners right here on camera, on video, just like this. Shout outs to this awesome person right here for winning these two baits right here. Thank you so much for your awesome comment. Please hit me with a DM, a message, or an email with your shipping info, and I will get these sent out to you ASAP. And that is how we take care of that. I will always, always announce the giveaway winner right here on camera, on video. That's the whole point. I want you guys to come back and watch the next video to see if you won. I'm not saying that I won't ever respond to you guys in the comments, but if you won the giveaway, it'll be announced right here on camera. That's how we handle that going forward. Once again, I apologize for all of the tomfoolery that went on in the comments on that last video. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and move forward in a positive way and we're gonna unbox a new frogging setup, two new frogging setups. I got the new Vega rod from Sixth Sense Fishing. They built a rod specifically for frogging. I got my hands on both models and we're gonna check them out in this video. I have a bunch of other tackle that we're gonna unbox and we're just gonna do our normal style tackle unboxing, tackle talk, rod rigging video before we jump off into this Choke Canyon series that I'm about to kick off in the next one. So make sure you stick around for that we had a lot of fun in south texas can't wait to bring you guys those videos but the name of the game in this one is going to be a little bit of unboxing i'm sorry it's been so long since you guys have seen me i've been out of town on the water fishing stacking content filming chasing dragons and i just practically haven't had any time at all to edit and upload i've been spending practically sun up to sundown on the water fishing because it's been hot and you guys are going to see all of that coming really soon and in the next video we're going to get really close to a giant alligator Make sure you stick around for that. We're gonna go ahead and get off into this first box right now though. Kick off this unboxing with a little bit of terminal tackle. Nothing too exciting, but what's in this box is crucial. You gotta have all this in the boat right here. You guys know what I'm talking about. Six cents makes some of the best in the game. I'm talking of course, pitch black tungsten. They're tungsten weights. It's a bunch of tungsten bullet weights. All shapes and sizes. I got a bunch of them. I will not bore you with the mundane terminal tackle, but it's a satchel full of tungsten. You gotta have it. So I ordered me up a bunch. Should be good to go for a little bit. Always losing tungsten in the bottom of the lake. But don't worry, because I also have some fun stuff, some tackle, and some rods, and some cool stuff to look at. A little bit more exciting than tungsten, but some of you guys like to nerd out on the terminal tackle. I do as well, and it's a critical part of the game. You gotta have that tungsten six cents. Like I said, makes some of the best. Check out their pitch black tungsten and use JR10 at checkout. Save 10% off their bullet weights and everything else on their website. Six cents has been killing it with the terminal tackle lately. I love the hook bundle, man. It's a killer deal. You get a bunch of hooks for everything. One awesome bundle. But we're gonna crack off into this box and see what I ordered. This box has actually been sitting here for a couple days and I can't quite remember everything that's in here. But it looks fun as the neighbor's dogs are going pretty psycho next door, man. We'll have to bear with me on the barking dogs in the background. Got a couple new hats though. <laughs> These are cool. I like this one, Anatomy of a Crankbait. That one's cool. And I like the colors on this one. Pretty stoked. You guys see me lately, I've been rocking the curve bills. Watching me shed skin here on this channel, man. I'm getting old. Started rocking the curve bill accidentally one day. Ended up liking it. Stuck with it. I don't know what's happening. Don't ask me. I used to be a flat bill guy, but I've been loving these curve bills lately. So I picked up a couple more. Love the colors on this one. All right, next up out of the box. While I was down in Choke Canyon, the fish were turned on to one specific bait. And you were going to see... More about that in the next video once I start dropping these Choke Canyon vids. But something that I went through a lot of down there in South Texas was these bad boys right here. The Flush 5.2. This is the Spanish Pearl color. One of my favorites. 
This is my favorite chatterbait trailer, or jackhammer trailer, bladed jig trailer, spoiler alert, give you an idea of what we were using these things for down south. But flush 5.2 Spanish Pearl was out of those, had to load up and get me some more. Also, another color that I've been murking them on lately is this Pearl Chrome. Hold up, let's go back one. Let's take an up close and personal look at this Spanish Pearl and we'll compare it to the Pearl Chrome because in the package they look like the same bait practically, but they're not. They're Subtle differences that make a big difference. If that. So the Pearl Chrome, this is the one I was throwing the most. White cap, clear belly, silver flake. But this one right here, this has just got a little bit more of like a, you know, a little subtle disco rainbow look to it. A little more color going on, finer flash uh, with the flake. But two killer colors, white, shad. That's what it is. That's what's going down. And um, yeah, just loaded up on both of those because honestly, I went through all the ones that I had down there in South Texas, they were unleashing the fury on this bait. And uh, yeah, wasn't gonna let myself run out of these bad boys for long. I've been doing really well on the chatter bait lately. And you guys know that I love throwing a soft plastic jerk bait weightless. So really can never have too many flushes. My favorite chatter bait trailer right there. Sticking in that same theme as far as color goes. Been doing a little bit of bed fishing here recently. Been using a lot of these white stroker cross. So I got some of these platinum whites. Reload it up. It's just basically so you can see the bait on the bed when you're bed fishing. Went through a lot of these, had to stock up, got five packs of those as well. Loaded up on the stroke across in platinum white. Next up, what else do we got? More flushes. More flushes. Oh, these are shad pearl? Did we? Oh, these are just the straight white. Shad pearl, that's what those are. A little bit different take on that same white. This is just straight, solid white. Shad pearl, flush 5.2s. I love that bait. All right, now we're starting to get into some other stuff here. A little bit of variety. What else do we got? Terminal tackle, also. Tools, everybody loves tools. Tools are fun. Six cents fishing, titanium fishing line scissors. Their scissors are awesome. Recently had a pair fly out of the boat on accident. So I ordered me a replacement pair. Not one, but I think I got, I thought I ordered two pair. That's right, one for the boat. One for here in the garage. Good to go now on our scissors. I love the Sixth Sense braid scissors. Next up, see what we got. This right here is a bait that I did not have any of. The Slow Sink Quake. And I met a dude out at Choke Canyon. Recognized me on the water saying what's up. Said he watches the videos. And here lately, anytime anyone has been recognizing me on the water, I've been asking them, hey, do you have all the baits that you need? Are there any Sixth Sense baits that you've been wanting that you don't have that I might have that I could gift to you? Just as a thank you for recognizing me and saying hi out there on the water. And he asked me for these bad boys and I didn't have any. The Quake Slow Sink. This color right here is the Rayburn Gill. But as you can see, it's a lipless crankbait. Weighted just a little bit differently to give it that slow sinking action. Didn't have any of the Quake in the Slow Sink. So I picked up a few of those bad boys. I think there are going to be a couple more in here. Here's the Brown Eye Special. Love that color. Loud rattles on the Quake 70s, man. This is the 70 size slow sink lipless crankbait, the Quake 70. Got a couple more, I think. Let's check them out. 4K Shad, one of my favorites. Delta Craw, can't beat it when they're smoking the reds in the springtime. Next up, that gold reactor. That's a killer color. Smallmouth killer, I hear. Next up, I got a couple more of these bad boys because topwater season's coming up. You can never have enough of that bomb, 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 bomb. The Spanish Bone Catwalk. This is my favorite top water walking style bait. Throw this on straight braid on the Heater Series 6.9 medium moderate rod. Just uh, walking and chopping. This thing splooshes like none other. Caught some incredible fish on the catwalk. One of my favorite baits to throw in the summertime. I'll have one tied on from now till it gets cold again. Now, next up, we got what's gonna go along with these rods that we have in this tube over here off camera. We got some frogs. Got some more Vega frogs. I have some Vega frogs. I got a box full of Vega frogs, but we're setting up frog rods, so I wanted some more. Here we go. Picked a few of the colors that uh, I really like. This one right here, shout out to Captain Ron. This is Captain Ron's color. This is the hazel mutt. It's a solid brown with blue accents. Ronnie loves this color, so I snagged another one of those so that I could have a backup. I actually have this frog tied on right now. Solid brown belly. I, I feel like that's what most people care about is the belly. That's what the fish care about. The rest is sort of just for me and you, but that's a good looking frog in the hazel mutt with the blue. Got a few more frogs, then we'll uh, start setting up these rods. This one right here, dark water pooch, similar to the hazel mutt, but a little darker with a little bit lighter blue. Let's check out the belly. What color is the belly? That's what we need to know, right? She's white, white with a red mouth. Next up, this is the gargoyle. This is a color that I didn't already have. So 
I wanted to scoop one of these. The Gargoyle Vega Frog. Shad back, white belly, yellow chin. I feel like that's a good color. That looks like a good Texas frog color right there to me. I don't know, you guys let me know. I'm not the best when it comes to frog fishing. In fact, the lake that I live on, it sucks for frog fishing, but we're gonna do some traveling. We've been doing some traveling. We're gonna hit some different lakes and we're gonna find us some frog eaters. Stay tuned, stay ready. We gotta go find us some frog fish. Next up, this is the Sneaky Ghost. It's just a subtle, clear white color, solid white frog. Speaking of solid white, this is ivory white. This one is opaque, not see-through. Sneaky Ghost, slightly see-through. The ivory white, just solid white. Last but not least though, this one, I love this one. Eye of the Tiger style. This is the spring gill, that yellow, gold, with the black accents, and it's got a white belly on it. But I just love the look of that frog. Looks like a Bengal tiger, so I grabbed me some. But wait, there's more. We're gonna go ahead and get off of these Vega frog rods. I'm excited to get my hands on these. I fished with Casey and he had the prototype with him on the boat while we were out there fishing. And I got to hold it and make a couple casts with it. I think, didn't catch any fish on it. And I believe that it actually changed a little bit or quite a lot since I saw that prototype version. So we're gonna get the final version out of the tube and in our hands right now, rigged up with some Reels, some braid, some frogs. Let's do it. All right, here's the tube, dudes. I'm gonna go ahead and crack off into this. Shout outs to my buddy ZK All Day, my man Zach over at the Six for getting these rods out to me so that I could try them. Dude is a monster and he works really hard to make sure that we all get what we need. And I can't thank him enough. And I'll always try to take time to shout out Zach in the videos, man. Thank you for the, everything you do for me, brother. If I can get this tube open, I'll show you guys these rods. I can see the tip. Oh, staple poked me. I can see the tip of one of these bad boys right here. All right, six cents Vega frog rod. Let's check it out. Hello. Hey, can we be nosy? What are you trying to do? Shooting a video. It looks interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Video of what? Are you fishing rod? Yes, sir. I'm fishing rod video. Justin Royal is my name. What's your name? Curtis Justin Royal. Nice to meet you, Curtis. Nice to meet you. Yeah. If y'all ever need anything, don't hesitate to knock on my door. Okay. All right, then. Y'all have a good one. Met some new neighbors. Shout outs to Curtis for stopping by and saying hi. We shoot videos. A lot of times the neighbors roll by, they see the lights on and the cameras in the garage, and they're like, what is that dude doing? What kind of videos is he shooting in the garage? And then they're like, oh, fishing videos. That's right, guys. Nice, wholesome fishing videos. But it's always good to uh, meet your neighbors. We got a nice community here that is growing, but I'm excited to get this wrap off these rods. Take a look at these suckers. Let's go ahead and expedite the process. I'll see you after I get these things uh, unleashed. Let's unleash the Vega Fury. All right, here we go. I'm about to pull the first one out right now. They got two different models, a shorter one and a longer one. I'm not sure which one this one is. Let's go ahead and bust it out, take a look. Dude, check out the foam. Beautiful, got the gold accents. Very nice, 40 to 80 pound braid. It says, built to frog. Six cents, Vega. Vega performance rods, built to frog. All right, so this is the 7.3 Heavy. They also have this one, which I believe is a 6.10. Let's take a look. 610 heavy. This would be a good flipping stick as well. Yeah, there we go, 610 heavy. Same thing, 40 to 80 pound braid. Beautiful design on these rods. Built to frog, Vega. Let me get a look at these things. I like the gold accents. Love the, the color of the foam on the handles. I like that the six is embedded right there. That's cool. And, you know, split rod seat. I like that. Just like my heater series rods, exposed blank. That's what I prefer. Split grip handle, also what I prefer. It's a good looking rod right there, man. Let's go ahead and get it laced up with a real braid and a frog. So to do that, first off, I got this bad boy right here. This is the old prototype heater series, 7.5 heavy fast. I'm gonna take this Shimano Corrado 70 MGL that I have spooled up a 50 pound braid and a Vega frog. I'm gonna put it on the 7.3 heavy first. Or should I put it on the 6.10? I don't know. I'll figure it out. 
I'll get it done and then show you. All right, guys, here's what I went with. I threw the 70 MGL on the 610, less line capacity, so I thought that would be better suited for the shorter rod, and maybe we could do some, I don't know, flipping into some heavy cover or around docks with this setup. And then for the second rod, the longer seven foot three inch version, I went with the Corrado 150 DC, and got a little backlash going on there. Good times already. But either way, that's what I went with for reels. Now let's go ahead and get some frogs tied onto these bad boys. What do you say? Let's do it. Let's pick a color. I want to throw this gargoyle. Something I do to my Vega frogs before I tie them on usually. So I go ahead and give the legs a little trim just to make it a little bit more compact. Give those fish something a little bit smaller to hone in on. About like that right there I find is good. And I'm going to tie this sucker on to the 7.3. Setup number two, I'm going to go with the Sneaky Ghost. Tie San Diego Jam on braid. Are you supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm gonna do it. That's what I'm doing. And don't forget to trim those little legs. That'll work, that'll work. And there we are dudes. The two new frogging setups. Corrado 70 MGL Vega Rod 610 Heavy 50 Pound Braid Vega Frog. Setup number two, seven three Vega Rod Shimano Corrado DC 150 with the Gargoyle Vega Frog 50 Pound Braid. Sweet dude, sweet man. Two new frogging setups. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and frog rigging video. Once again, I apologize for all the tomfoolery in the comments on the previous giveaway video. Shout outs to the giveaway winner from this video. Remember what I said, guys. Giveaway winners always announced right here on video, on camera, by me, not in the comment sections. Keep that in mind going forward. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I promise you, you are not going to want to miss this Choke Canyon series. I'm about to set it off. These fish were unleashing the fury, and I had a blast down south. Cannot wait to show you this footage. So stay ready so you don't got to get ready. Check out SixthSenseFishing.com for the new Vega Frog Rod. Use JR10 for the win. Save 10% off your entire order. Using that JR10 code is the absolute best way that you can support the channel. If you enjoy what we have going on over here on YouTube, consider using that code on sixcentsfishing.com. Not only will it save you some money, but it'll help us keep the lights on and the cameras rolling so that we can continue to bring you free fishing content here on YouTube. Shout outs to all my JR10 code users. Don't forget to send me a screenshot of your order confirmation so that I can give you a shout out on Instagram. Everyone who uses my JR10 code shout outs over there on my story on the gram so send me those screenshots thank you guys so much for all the love and support lately you guys continue to amaze me i apologize for my short hiatus i promise you it was worth it i've got some really fun stuff coming your way in the next few videos but that's about all i got for you today that about does it that about wraps are on up so i'm gonna say goodbye for now but i'll see you on the next one shout outs to the heater army let's roll the outro peace <laughs>